you might have noticed something called IORM Blender. It's right here. It's for the glass uh, shader or for the principal BSTF. It basically stands for Index of Refraction. And in really simple terms, if you have any kind of material and the light has to pass through it, like we, I will show you soon on the screen, the light comes, it's making the water surface and it's going to be bent basically. And here we can also see since light consists of different kind of wavelengths, uh, it also really, again, simple terms, breaks, bends into different direction with blue being bent the most. And if you look here, yeah, you have a light source it's shining onto your surface and it's breaking down the light. Why is it important? I'm going to show you real quick in Blender. So here we have nothing set. So basically IOR of nothing doesn't exist. Or maybe it does in some freakish out of this world thing. But usually it's one because of the vacuum and nothing is less than the vacuum. Anyway, I'm talking too much. So everything is set to zero, as you can see. Now let's have a look at here or here. If you can look up anywhere, refractive index of any kind of material. For example, as you can see, vacuum has one, a refractive index of one, and you can't have less than a vacuum. So I guess there's nothing below one. Anyway, for water, if one point, 333 three, 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 for ice 1.31 and so on here I have a different kind of list with many more objects with the index of refraction it's also temperature dependent with what it's not that big of a deal i mean it's just a small percentage that's going to change but in blender we won't notice that i think so let's take a vacuum then we're going to take water to show the difference. Then we're going to take diamond and germanium, or how do you say it in English, germanium. Yeah, let's just go with that. So first of all, we're going to take a vacuum. Yeah, nothing. Then we're going to take one. 0.33 for water and here you can also see I put a light source above it so you can see how it uh, the light bends and shines through it here we are going to take what was diamond 2 point something 2.42 you can see the light bending more you can see the light source popping out of almost all the surfaces of the diamond and germanium i'm gonna pronounce it german did i choose the right one yes i did maybe it was too much i don't know if you can shine light through germanium is it what kind of object is it wait let's have a look together Okay, not the best object with the glass material. Then let's change some, change it to something else. Let's take quartz. Okay, let's take quartz. For the end, it's 1.46. And as you can see, you can get different kind of reflections, different kind of light output. Let's move around the camera just to see. It really depends on what kind of object you want to portray. If you want to have just water, then use 1.33. If you want to make a more realistic diamond, then really go for the index of refraction of a diamond. And quartz the same. Basically, it's really important to choose the right index of refraction to get a sense of realism, to add more realism to your scene. Uh, I will link the website still below. So you can also check them out for yourself. And that's it.